Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our campus here at the Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College. If I could have everyone's attention, we want to start with our exciting agenda today. For those of you that may not know me, my name is Eric Rodriguez. I serve as the Interim Public Relations Director for the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe. It is my honor to welcome you here to our beautiful campus for the Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College. I do ask that everyone that is able to please stand as we want to start today in a traditional way with prayer. And on behalf of, of the Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College, we have the Anishinaabe Moen instructor, Mr. George Roy, to welcome us today. Please help me welcome Mr. Roy. Bewitchinum <laughs> I will say a, a little prayer for those that want to. You can say, say your own prayer along with me in your own way. Now, me wait to go, can I go up in young man peaking? Me no one to get an admire, an admire, a chick man pizza, one to be so ever gets way back. Me wait to run on the gunduck, a knomage, a chick me on the pimpers, a mens on the neck on the knomage, but all the in the others. Me wait to run on the gunduck, got eighty walk with a cause it taught to us on the so we wish name on the scope magazines and the near. Oh, miigwech. And miigwech, uh, at this time, it is now my distinct pleasure and honor to welcome to our podium our tribal chaplain, Miss Alice Jo Ricketts, for a blessing today. Please help me welcome tribal chaplain Alice Jo Ricketts. Before I pray, I just want to say this is beautiful. This building is just amazing. And I guess I want to say my favorite part is when you walk in and you see our teachings all around through the, every floor, I believe, right? So I want to encourage everyone when they look at those, it, it's in our Anishinaabe Moen, and to study them and to speak them and to embrace them in your everyday life. I love it. Dear Heavenly Father, we come together today with grateful hearts and ask you to guide, direct, and continue to prosper our tribal college. As we move forward in this beautiful facility, we ask you to give wisdom and love to our college administration, instructors, and staff, and of course, all the students. We say, Chimi Gwech. For all your blessings in Jesus name we pray amen big watch Alice Joe and I do ask that you remain standing at this time we want to start uh, with some re recognition in a piece of our culture today and with us today we have the Blue House singers who are going to provide a welcome song and I'm going to turn it over to our Blue House singers Thank <laughs> you. 
applause for our Blue House singers sharing that song with us this morning. Everyone can now be seated, and thank you very much for our opening ceremonies this morning. We appreciate you participating in those with us today, and it's great to see such a tremendous crowd out here in support to really showcase what this means to our community. So it's great for all of you that took the time out to welcome, uh, uh, welcome you to our property and to join us in the celebration today. At this time, it is now my pleasure to welcome up to, to the podium the president of the Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College, Carla Sinaway. Please help me and welcome President Sinaway. Welcome, everybody that, that came out. We really appreciate the support that's shown, you know, just by people coming here to see what we've done. So welcome. And thank you for helping us and being part of this celebration. Back in 1998, the college was chartered by the tribe. And ever since that time, we've been looking for a home, like the Bow Weevil, looking for a home. And we found it. But it wasn't without a lot of stops and starts, a lot of frustration, a lot of stress. But the goal was is to find a home. And over the years, that process has strengthened us. Sometimes we think that the outcome is what we need to be focused on, but sometimes we forget that the journey is just as important because the journey makes the outcome more valuable. I'm reminded that Native people struggle with education and they wonder about it. They wonder what the value is. But I don't believe that they've forgotten education. I don't believe that they've left the educational journey. But I, what I do believe is that they've had it buried within them. And that generations before, with the struggles in education, buried that. And so now, as Native people, I firmly believe with education, we're opening up that gift again. That was buried, it wasn't lost. But what we need to remember that is sometimes when something is buried or something is lost and we find it, it has more value. And I believe that's what education is, is that we've realized, we've unburied that gift and we've kept it in our very being and in our spirit. So it was never really lost. And this building, this campus, provides us the opportunity to grow that which was buried within us. That which was deep down but never lost. And those generations that came before us, that kept instilling that education in their way, to bring us here today. So as we come here today to celebrate this building, it's more than a building, it's the home, and it's a home for the community as we unbury that gift of education, that special thing that was in our spirit that makes us stronger. And so I wanna say thank you to tribal councils over the years that have supported us to Board of Regent members, past and present, who had supported the, the endeavor, to, to staff and students who started the journey, and to our families that have supported us along the way. It seems like there was a lot of work done before we got to this place. And I'm reminded of those initial education people, Wilmer Smith, Yvonne Davis, Lorna Call, Margaret Samick, Beatrice Jackson, remember they used to ride the bus to keep the Indian kids in line? All of those people began unwrapping and lifting up that which was buried. And so we are just in the process. We're not the end. We're not the beginning but we're part of the process as we prepare for those that are gonna come after us. So thank you for coming 
and celebrating this gift that we found and now it's being brought to the surface from our spirit. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Sinaway, and thank you for those words and, and just showcasing how important and what this truly represents in our community here today. At this time, it is now my pleasure to welcome up to this podium uh, our Sub-Chief of the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe, Mr. Luke Sprague. Please help me in welcoming Sub-Chief Sprague. Uh, good morning. It makes me nervous following up a speech after Carla Sinaway. <laughs> Probably one of the most uh, speakers that I, I admire the most. Um, her passion, she don't need a script. But also, um, you know, she's, she's been there for many of us, including myself. You know, uh, George Roy was one of my previous professors. Uh, Carla, my Sunday school teacher, I believe they both gave me the boot at some point too. <laughs> but look where I am now, so thank you both for keeping me in check. Uh, so for the spring of 2024, student enrollment is at 161. Um, that's a phenomenal number uh, during this transition. And you know, the past six months, um, I, along with you know my fellow council members, were able to observe uh, you know the transition. And you know, we went in this building last year um, at least you know a couple times a month. And then, uh, you know, in December, uh, we really seen, you know, the walls getting torn, torn down in here. Um, and I was really getting gutted out. And, you know, I walked in, I'm like, man, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stay here, or, you know? Um, but right now, you know, it looks like the Bellagio, you know? Um, it, the atmosphere today, you know, just seeing you all here, um, everyone looking, you know, beautiful. Um, you know, it's a... It's a great day today, and then uh, even for the council members who are who couldn't make it today, um, they're still just as excited for this day as uh, the rest of us who were able to make it today. Currently offering four associate degree programs, including business, liberal arts, general science, and Native American studies. SCTC was recently awarded the NEH grant that will assist administration, faculty, staff in providing resources to develop a four-year Native American Studies degree. And I believe, you know, enrollment's really going to skyrocket as soon as it gets brought back. Um, a lot of the, you know, alumni from, from here are pretty excited about that de uh, degree program and they're already, you know, kind of confirmed they, they will come back here to this institution to pursue that degree. The campus is being embraced by our students. The common spaces are being used by students and students are taking more ownership of their school. It is starting to feel like home for them. Um, you know, the last month, you know, while classes were getting started, kind of um, the transition, you know, kind of everything kind of got, you know, put in place and everyone got comfortable again. I was able to walk around and, you know, seeing students you know, upstairs and on the break lounges, um, in the classrooms, you know, um, everyone, I could just see the smile on their faces and that, you know, it can feel, it feels like home to them again. And then also the ones who graduate from here, I believe this building is going to make an easier transition when they go to a bigger university. You know, it's not going to be a shock to go from a environment, this environment, uh, to the next. Would like to thank the SCTC team as many have longevity with SCTC and it is truly remarkable to see their passion for the college and its students. Specifically, our Ogamakwe president, El Presidente. <laughs> you know, she's a, she's a matriarch in this community. She has over 35 years of dedication to the education programming that has been implemented in this community. She is not only a matriarch in her family, this school, but this community. Carla, you are building a legacy and we are, we are gonna continue to value and you know, hold your name up with many years to come. Her efforts have led us to opening of SCTC 
now in our own campus building. Also, I want to praise the staff. Their biggest concern was making sure students were able to register during spring, uh, during the transition. So during the transition, the plaza closed down and this place was under construction. They're in a black elk building and uh, you know, the old mail room still doing registration. So fortunately for me, I was still able to see my favorite people more often than not. Um, you know, through the amazing work of their success coaches, they were able to register the majority of students prior to offices being closed. And then lastly, I want to give a shout out to Z-Wing for allowing them to host the first week of classes. Classes began the second semester on campus through collaboration, hard work, and loving care for each other. We're able to continue on this transition and we're very excited for this day and um, very blessed for everybody to come here today and uh, let's, let's um, enjoy the meal afterward too. Chimi Gwetch. Thank you, Subchief Sprague. And uh, as he mentioned, uh, not only himself and as representative of the Tribal Council here today, uh, other Tribal Council members here present today to support this initiative. We thank them and the previous administrations working alongside the teams here at the Tribal College to help bring this vision to reality. I know that uh, it does not go unnoticed to all of those who have had any sort of hand in making this dream come true here today. On behalf of the Tribal College, it's my pleasure now to welcome up the chair of the SCTC Board of Regents, Mr. Jordan Fallis. Please help me welcome Chair Jordan Fallis. Good morning, everyone. First off, I want to say congratulations to the community. This is huge for us. It has been a long journey to this point. And also, I would like to say thank you to Carla for everything she has done, her commitment to us, and she has continued to show that as a selfless act of prosperity and longevity comes when you're looking um, to support the community and build each member here to do well. It's been a long time in the past, I want to say six years for us as a board. Um, we have supported Carla and we have empowered her. And with uh, that ability of empowerment, she has dedicated herself and it shows. This building here is beautiful. Uh, it's been thought thought out uh, through time of how, how we're going to create an opportunity so students want to come to a place and be here for a long time and we don't want them to leave. With that being said, you guys can see this beautiful building. It's taken about a year and a half to get completed, uh, the process, and I want to say thank you to everyone who has been a part of this process. From Sp the Spence Brothers, uh, the Board of Regents, Tribal Council has done an amazing job with supporting us. It has empowered us as a board and it reflects as our community for what the next decade and the following decades after that. I'm excited to see what the children do here in the next 20 years. We're talking like the young youth and see how they turn out because it's not about any of us here in this room right now. It's about the little ones that are, are, that are on the way up. And we are an example of that and we are borrowing time from them because they are going to be the leaders. And this is a representation of what that's going to be. So I want to say chi miigwech to everyone and thank you again for being here and let's have a nice day and celebrate this. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Fallis. And uh, you know those wonderful wor words about uh, looking forward for our future generations and making sure that they have a place that they can look <coughs> to or inspired to be and, uh, and start their higher educational journey, hopefully, with us and then uh, do great things out in our community and become those leaders. So uh, very great words on behalf of the Board of Regents here today. Also with us today, we have um, support throughout our community that is not only through our tribal community. And I want to just take a few seconds uh, to honor some of those here today. Uh, with us, we have Representative Jerry Nyer from the Michigan House of Representatives, District 92. Thank you very much, Representative Nyer, for joining us. On behalf of Congressman Nol Molinar's office, we have Emmer Coker, who is a dis district representative on behalf of Congressman Molinar. Presented us with today a certificate of special congressional recognition, recognition sorry, uh, for that. So we take great uh, uh, pride and are grateful for that opportunity. And I'm going to present that to our president. We have some leaders in, uh, in, in our room today that uh, have paved the way of what this looks like and also have uh, been a part of the journey that we uh, have seen. Uh, with us today, we have President Dwayne Bedell from Bay Mills Tribal College in the back of the room there. 
support from our team. Uh, we have Brandy Johnson, the president of the MCCA, the Michigan Community College Association. Brandy, thank you for joining us today. Also with us from our other higher education institutes, we have local support. Uh, president Tim Hood from Mid-Michigan College in the back of the room with us today. From Central Michigan University and the Office of Indigenous Affairs, Casey Perez, thank you very much for joining us. And from Ferris State University, Colleen Green, thank you very much for attending with us today and showing your support. I apologize if I missed anybody. Uh, as you can see, standing room only, so I'm trying my best to look through the crowd, and uh, we do welcome each and everyone's support. Finally, I want to take this time to acknowledge and have a round of applause for the SCTC staff. They have done so much and deserve the recognition to help us where we are today. I would like to take this opportunity to say chi miigwech and thank you to the Saginaw Chippewa Tribal staff. If you could stand, give a brief wave. I know many of you already are, but thank you so much for all your work. At this time, I am uh, pleasured to welcome up to the stage uh, Brian Keeler, our Executive Vice President of Spence Brothers. Mr. Keeler, the mic is yours. Thanks, Eric. Well, I'd like to start out with, you know, really giving President Sinewe a thank you for giving us an opportunity to be part of this project. You know, I said, like, from day one when we found out that your organization was buying this building, um, we knew from day one we wanted to be part of it, and uh, hopefully we, we put on that uh, demonstration. So uh, this is a transformational opportunity, obviously, you know, for the region, but most importantly for the students and the staff. You know, this facility is a game changer, and we realized that from day one. Uh, giving your students a chance to excel in the education, but then also still embracing the tribal history and culture. It is an awesome opportunity uh, for the students. So. As you can imagine, I probably, uh, you know, I wasn't involved in every day-to-day -day activity out here. Uh, I'm sure they don't want me out here every day. But um, my team had the following to say, and, and I'll quote this, uh, Vince and Chad in the back, wherever you are uh, with the day-to-day, -day, it's, they quoted, you know, it's one of the best owners group that we have worked with. Their ability to make quick decisions needed to keep the project moving forward is commendable. So that, that says a lot. In the construction world, as you can imagine, time is money, and this is incredibly beneficial when you're trying to build and renovate projects. Um, Vince and Chad, again, you raised your hand once, right? No, you didn't. Probably didn't see it. There you go. Almost. There's one. Um, thank you for all of your hard work into the project, you know, and keeping an ownership mindset, you know, what was best for the tribal college and the owner. That's how we, when we get into projects like this, it's, it's what is in the best interest of the owner at the end. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Megan and WTA, the design team. Um, what an awesome vision, truly, truly unique opportunity. Uh, campus environment for the students, but it's for the staff, you know, and the administration as well. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Space Furniture as you walk around. Um, they were a key component collaborating with us and making sure furniture solutions were within budget and also uh, fitting the spaces. Uh, shout out to the subcontractors who kept safety in mind and quality control. Uh, safety is our goal on every project and they took that utmost importance. One last note, you know, nearly 90% of the dollars that went into this project through Spence Brothers, they were, it was given back to local subcontractors, which obviously is important in our region. They live here, they work here, they play here. So that is really important from our perspective to make sure money is given back into the communities that we build in. So again, thank you, President, and congrats. Thank you, Mr. Keeler. And uh, as you mentioned, you know, for us, it's the opportunity that uh, we see and have great partnerships with you to help us bring that vision to life. Um, knowing your commitment and, and that we partnered on so many projects through the re years, but having that commitment to, to have your contractors locally sourced and to give back and put those dollars back in your community is fantastic. So at this time, we're going to celebrate with our ribbon cutting. So I want to welcome up our tribal council members, our uh, a CTC representative, our Board of Regent members, and we want to have everyone form a line right here, and we want to have our official ribbon cutting ceremony. With us today, we have Neeming Sprague, who is going to be our ribbon cutter, 
and he is the Student Senate President. So, Neiman, if you kind of lead the way, let's have everybody else assemble and get our dignitaries up here. Uh, Representative Nair, Emma from Congressman Mueller's office, and other dignitaries that I mentioned. We would invite you to come up and be a part of this uh, celebration as well. All right, well, to welcome the grand opening and ribbon cutting of the Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College campus here on the Pickard Road location. I turn it over to our student president, Neiman Sprague, with our representatives. Please cut that ribbon and welcome us to our new campus. And there we go, congratulations. We are so excited here today to be able to do that ribbon cutting for a long time coming. To celebrate, I do ask everyone that is able to please stand. I'm gonna turn it back to our Blue House singers as they are gonna share a honor song with us to make sure we recognize this situation. Blue House singers, it is yours.